So I started with this 11 by 14 wood painting panel in some antique villa from Wise Owl Paint. And I covered the entire panel. I gave it about two coats until it was fully covered. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And the wood panel came from Hobby Lobby. So I just gathered some knickknacks from around the house. And I started with a big circle and a smaller circle. And I just outlined them. Now, I'm not that great at drawing. So I just decided to use these items to help me get my design I was looking for. And then I have a popsicle stick here, which was the perfect shape. And I had a small little triangle. And I am drawing an anchor. And then once I had that complete, I folded it in half so the bottom of the anchor was even on both sides. And then I just cut it out. And then I took a 220 grit sandpaper and sanded my board. And then I took my anchor cut out and traced it on an angle. I went lightly around it using a pencil. And then I had taken Wise Owl chalk synthesis paint and the color was sapphire. And I took a little bit of black and I mixed them together to get this blue. The sapphire is a little more vibrant and I wanted more of like a nautical blue. And then with a small art brush, I just filled in my anchor. Now this does not have to be perfect. But you do want to stay in the lines the best you can. Once that was filled in and dry, I took my hot glue gun and some jute and I lined the outside of the anchor with the hot glue and then I laid my jute on top of it. And I did this to the entire anchor. You want a thinner piece of jute. And then I just took a little more paint and just touched up the inside. Now I wanted this Bible verse, Hope Anchors the Soul. So I ended up making this with my Cricut and using some chocolate Wise Owl paint and a foam dabber, I just dabbed over the entire stencil. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, you can always do each letter individually. I know it takes a little longer, but it is an option. And I also have a video on how to make a stencil on the Cricut, but it is a little longer and I know not everybody is interested in that. So once I had the stencil complete and it was dry, I just did a light sanding on my board and fixed any touch-ups. I used some salve in my round premium brush. And then I had an afterthought of applying some little blue crystal rocks at the bottom. So I took some E6000 glue and with some gloves on, I just wiped the glue on the bottom of the board and then I dumped the little gems at the bottom. And then I let that sit and dry. And that's it. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And other tutorials over on our YouTube. And I will also get you guys a PDF of the anchor. Have a great day.